Hey, Mac fam, what's up? So I wanted to do another story time, and this one is about a surgery that I had. I had a tonsillectomy. If you're like, what is that? Well, a tonsillectomy is your tonsils and adenoids, and they're like at the back of your throat. Um, and we went to go see an ENT because I was um, snoring really loud, and sometimes having big tonsils um, can cause that. Also, it can um, have issues with like swallowing things, like certain foods, certain medications. It just depends. Um, and so that was kind of also difficult with my tonsils. Um, and so we went to go see an ENT. That's well, we went to the doctor, and the doctor recommended we went to go see an ENT. An ENT is an ears, no nose, and um, throat doctor. And we went to go see him, and he called my tonsils kissing tonsils because they literally were touching each other. They were so big, and sometimes they want to do a sleep study, but he was like, nope, we're going to take her in, we're going to do surgery. So it was probably a couple, um, I don't know if it was like that next week, but I remember. So I had to recover for two weeks. One of those weeks, I had to... Um, stay out of school that whole week the second week I did go back to school but I was not able to do PE I really still had to take it pretty easy um so we went in and um they started looking for some veins to give me some IVs in my veins they were like your veins are kind of acting up you know because some doctors or nurses will say that and they kind of talked about what would be happening you know they just removed the tonsils and adenoids um and finally they did put me under anesthesia, but they took me, I remember, they wheeled me back to this room, and I got on this really kind of thin table, um, and um, they had me with laughing gas, and I immediately just remember just being so sleepy, and I just fell asleep. So then during that time, they did put the anesthesia in, because I remember when I woke up, I saw where the IV was. <laughs> I was like, okay, oh goodness. Um, and I do remember waking up, and I was in a lot of pain, my throat was um, really hurting me um, and so I wasn't really able to talk because it was so painful um, and they had me in this little recovery room I stayed there probably for like a few hours so you know they'd make sure that you know I was okay um, to go home and um, so um, then finally you know they took the IV out um, and they I think I remember I had a popsicle and they gave me like a little cup of ice um, and I remember having that kind of sucking on it, you know, because it was really painful. Um, and so then I remember um, my mom and I think my grandma came back to the room to help me so we could leave. And I remember I was in this wheelchair and they were wheeling me out. And then we left. And then I remember I was at home and I had to eat a lot of ice cream, a lot of um, Frosties, a lot of frozen things. Um, you know, take it really easy that week, and even, like, towards the end of that week, it was still kind of hard to eat some things, um, you know, because of the pain. And I recovered that week really well, and the next week, I did go back to school, but I did have to sit out for PE, um, and so, um, yep, but then finally, after that second week, I went back to the ENT, he's like, you're good, and I was able to eat you know, foods again, because I was really on, like, a very, like, ice cream, kind of very soft diet, um, I had to be really careful with what I ate, just kind of like with my braces, um, when I got my braces, I was really sore, and still today, I am kind of sore with them, but when I first got them, I was in a lot of pain, um, and so I just remember I had to eat a lot of ice cream and stuff, too, at first, um, because of the pain, you know, but anyway, let me know if you've had a tonsillectomy or any other surgeries down below. And let me know if you have braces. Alrighty, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you, subscribe down below if you have not already. I'm almost 50 subscribers. You guys are incredible. Let's get me there. Always keep your head up. Love you guys so much. Bye.